Hello, friends. This is a dead game. The servers for Minecraft Story Mode Season 2 are a victim of closure from when Telltale Games shuttered a couple years ago. The uh, servers were discontinued on June 25th, 2019. Uh, what that means is that if you hadn't already purchased the episodes beyond episode one, you can't. So I feel like I have a relic that was, like, lost to time for a lot of people. I, I realize it's several years on from when this game even came out because it was released in 2017. But I have a big backlog and I eventually get back to things. So what I'm going to do for this, because I feel it's important to try to preserve it, so to speak. I'm going to do a long-form Let's Play that may have commentary, may not have commentary. All depends on how the method that I capture it uh, takes my own audio. But, uh, I don't remember what happened in the first season. I know you saved the world from some Enderman or whatever. I know there's a recap uh, before everything gets going, but uh, I hope you enjoy going on this journey with me. Uh, plus, Pat Oswald voices the main character, and he's a pretty chill guy. So, in just a second, we'll get going. Uh, thanks for watching and enjoy. I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, their fame just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. Uh. Oh, uh huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah, I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> I don't know, Lucas. If there's one thing our adventures taught me, it's better to just be truthful. Let history speak for itself. I guess I can pull back on some of the, uh, the exaggerations. Yeah, like the part with the magic chicken? Talk about implausible. Uh, that actually happened. Oh, right. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh, next year. 
I can't believe it's founding day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, we were all there. For uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. Um... Hey, come on, guys. We all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. It is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, your intern. Jesse? Oh, hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. You don't need to apologize. We're just hanging out. Right. Sorry. Uh, uh, sorry. I, I, I mean, uh... Oh. So, what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, nice. We should get going. Yeah. Uh, about that. We've actually got our own Founding Day stuff we need to prep for? Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. And I need to finish grading some Redstone assignments. Oh, that's okay. I get it. You have your life, and so do I. Ah, <sighs> thanks, Jesse. Yeah, thanks. Petra will never let you hear the end of it, though. Tell Petra I said next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. <laughs> ah, so freaking cute. So the other towns have founding day celebrations, huh? Of course. We were all part of taking down the Witherstorm. Redstonia even hosts a whole dance in Eligard's honor. Yeah, it's mostly TNT and fireworks in Boomtown. Magnus let me help design the firework finale this year. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah, this has been great. See you, Jesse. Uh, won't be the same without you guys. Ah, buddy. You're gonna make me sad. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell ya, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town! rather be out adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. I really do love this place, and it just keeps getting cooler. Right? I love it too. It's exactly the kind of home I'd always dreamt of having. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind.
one of those would look awesome on the order hall's front lawn. star the witherstorm dropped oh i know even before i moved to beacon town i came on a trip to see the beacon i love this thing Ivor and Harper are having fun out there in the portal network. Can't wait to hear about it when they get back. Craving seafood? Always. Why? Jesse, dude! Nell, I thought you were out seeing the worlds. Did that? Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though. Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person. But sometimes you just want to have a place to store your junk, okay? Well, I'm so glad you're here. Man, that is just the sort of warm welcome I had hoped. You rock, Jesse, dude. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't, like, fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make, like, a good first impression, you know? Which... I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business! Ah, a blank canvas.
That is some sweet work. Nice. Oh, Jesse, dude, thanks. It was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, mi amigo. And don't be a stranger, okay? Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free-spirited. <laughs> yeah, kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the... Mineshaft. Mm-hmm. Whoa! Wink, get back here. Leave Jesse alone. Hello there, Jesse. I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. What are you guys doing here, though? Um, the thrill of adventure, I guess. And the stories of this place sounded awesome. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh, Wink. Here, Jesse, give him a bone and he'll calm right down. Here, Wink. Nice, tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Ha, <laughs> yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're gonna need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. told me this was a recreation of your first big build, way back before the wither storm, before all that stuff. Is it true? You have got to tell me more about it. I can barely even picture it. I have devoured everything Lucas has written about you guys in those days. <laughs> all right. I love talking about the good old days. Yes. I'm just so curious. Where does your inspiration come from? Was there a deeper meaning? Oh, or like a critique of the world, maybe? I guess the mind of a hero is a hard one to understand sometimes. The build I really wish I got to see was what you built to take down the Wither Storm. Now that must have been terrifying. The world coming apart at the seams? Well, my friends and I give each other strength. That day is no different. I always knew the Order of the Stone were still best friends. I love it. Oh, you are just the best. Oh, and thank you so much for taking the time to stop and talk to me. Not a problem. I'll see you around, all right? Best pig that ever lived. I miss you, buddy. Oh, man. I wish I could have met Reuben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Reuben almost got me crying right there. Yeah, he was my best friend. Still miss him. Aww. Oh my gosh, it's you! Oh, yep, it's me. What are, what are you doing here? Oh wow, this is actually perfect. For founding day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Uh, would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? I would love to. Seems like the least I could do. Oh, that's fantastic! Thank you so much. All right, let's see him. Okay, piggies! Show Jesse your good side! Uh. That's Esteban. Smushy Q cheeks. And Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth. <laughs> Tried my best to bring the pigs that felt the most Reuben esque. Hmm? They're all adorable. Raised all of them myself. Definitely Esteban. He's got the most intelligent face. Really? Ah, I knew that's who you choose. Fantastic. Congratulations. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesse. I'm going to get him ready, and I'll see you at the celebration. Bye.
Makes me happy to see so many plants growing in Beacon Town. Yeah, it's pretty great, huh? Sugar, nice. Jesse! Oh, hey, hey, look who it is! Jesse, hey! Hey guys, what are you doing? Glad you asked. We're working on a new game for founding day that I guarantee you is gonna be all the rage this year. Slime diving. Oh. Want to give us a hand finishing it up? I'll let you take the first dive. Bob designed the schematics, didn't you, Bob? That sounds awesome. Let's do it. We're going to be diving off this excellent pagoda Bob designed, but we can't decide what material to use. Thoughts? I'm just conflicted because I like all of them. Oh, we know you do, Bob, but don't worry. Jesse's going to help us settle this. Stone is safer. Why don't we run with that? Nice! That turned out great! And just like I promised, you can take the first dive. Just aim for the slime! It'll be great! Go, Jesse! Woohoo! Oh, I'm nervous. Don't worry, Jesse will love. Woohoo! Ta-da! Thanks, everyone. Jesse, that was incredible. Seriously, amazing dive. Thank you for that. Thank you for the help before. No problem. Look, my friend's waiting, so I gotta run, but nice work. What you looking at, citizen? Oh, <laughs> Jesse! Wow! Hi! Huh. Just checking out my latest build from the ground. I'm worried it doesn't, you know, fit. Is it putting the right energy into the universe? Doesn't fit. I think it's perfect. Oh, wow. <laughs> Maybe I'm overthinking this. Yeah, I love it. This just gives me even more to think about. Uh, okay then. We'll just leave you to it. Is he okay? No, I don't think so. This for Hello, Jesse. I am telling you, Stampy. It needs to be pumpkin pie. But cake is the best, and I would know. I have it every morning for breakfast. There's some sort of problem here, guys? Hello, Jesse. We heard about this founding day celebration of yours, and we thought we'd make some sweets. Yeah, and now I'm trying to convince Mr. Stampy here to make the right decision and pick pumpkin pie. There you go with those leading presentations again. Just, not everyone likes cake, Stampy. Well, why don't we have both? Oh, that's a wonderful idea, but we don't have enough ingredients. It's true. Here, you should just take the ingredients and decide for us. Yes, I fear we're going to be debating in circles all day otherwise. <laughs> you know, there might be some extra eggs and stuff around town. I bet you could find enough to do cake and pie. Uh, I don't have a ton of time, but I bet they'd be super surprised by that.
one pie hot off the table. Hey, that looks delicious. Yes, well, you know, mostly. Sorry, Stampy. Had to make a call. I suppose. Well, thank you for the help, Jesse. Yes, thank you. Look, I gotta run. Petra's waiting. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Bye! <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Thank you. Huh, what a lovely garden. And here we are at the mines. Nice. Thanks for walking with me. Oh, no. Thank you, Jesse. It was a pleasure watching you work. It truly was. Stopping to help all those people. Helping them prepare for founding day. Very inspiring. I'll, uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things. Risking your life. Got all the faith in the world, buddy. You got this. Thanks, Jesse. I won't let you down. Bye! Have a good time! Don't I always? <laughs> <laughs>